It's the era of AI. Nowadays, AI is being used in almost every task. So I thought, why not add AI to our Audacity software as well? In today's video, I'm going to introduce a plugin for Audacity that allows you to add some really useful AI features to your Audacity. Now you can completely remove background noise from your audio in one click, and it won't sound weird like it does when using Adobe Podcast. You can extract transcripts from your audio for adding subtitles, translate audio into any language, and even separate vocals and music from any song. You can also generate music with AI by just inputting a single prompt. As you know, I hate long intros, so let's get started. To download this plugin, click on the link provided in the description, and you'll be taken to a page. Scroll down a bit and you'll find the download link. Click on it and download the plugin. Open it, and to install it, click on Run and then Install. It will take some time to install, so be patient. Once it's installed, click Finish and open Audacity. In the top left corner, click on Edit and go to Preferences. Scroll down to Module and you'll find Open Vino Mode. Click on it and enable it. Click OK, close Audacity, and then relaunch it. In the Analyze menu, you'll find the Open Vino Whisper Transcription option. And in the Effects menu, you'll also find Open Vino AI Effects. Now let's start using these effects one by one. First, we'll use noise suppression, because I know many of you are here just for that. I've already recorded an audio file for this, which I'll import here. First, I'll play it so you can hear it. This is a test recording for the Vino Whisper AI plugin in Audacity. I'm speaking in my own voice to see how this plugin processes. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. As you can hear, there's a lot of background noise, and there are people talking in the background as well. So let's remove this background noise with AI in just one click. For that, press Ctrl plus A or double click to select your audio. Then click on Effects, go to Open Vino AI Effects and select Open Vino Noise Suppression. In the inference device, you can select either CPU or GPU. I tried using GPU, but it didn't work, so I'll go with CPU. There are two models available for noise suppression, Deep Filter Net 2 and 3. You can choose either one, I'll stick with 2. After setting everything, click Apply. In just a few seconds, it will remove all the background noise from your audio. It's done now, so let's play it. This is a test recording for the Vino Whisper AI plugin in Audacity. I'm speaking in my own voice to see how this plugin processes. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. You can hear how well it has removed the background noise and the audio is still intact. It didn't distort the audio like Adobe Podcast does. It sounds completely natural, just with the background noise removed. So our experience with this was great. Let's move on to the next tool, which is extracting transcription from audio. Double-click to select your audio, then go to Analyze and select Open Whisper Transcription. Here too, you can choose either CPU or GPU, but I'll stick with CPU. The Whisper model is currently based. Maybe in the future, there will be other models. You're given two modes here, Transcribe and Translate. We'll try both one by one. For now, I'll select Transcribe and choose the source language of my audio instead of Auto. You'll find almost all languages here. My voice is in English, so I'll select that. Then click Apply. You can see that it has transcribed our audio. If you want to export just the transcription, click on File, go to Export, then Export Labels, and it will export your transcription. Let me open it and show you. You can see that it has exported our transcription with timestamps. I'll close all this now. To test the translation option, I have a voice clip in Chinese, which I'll import into Audacity. Let's play it. As you can hear, it's in Chinese, so let's translate it into English. Double click to select the audio, go to Analyze, and select the Vino Transcription option. Choose the source language of the audio, which I'll set to Chinese. Select Translate in the mode, and click Apply. You can see that it has translated the Chinese audio into English in just a few seconds. Now, I'll delete everything and clean up the project. Next, let's move on to separating the instrumental and vocal parts from the music. I have a song here, which I'll drag and drop into Audacity. Let's play it first. Yeah. I don't believe in destiny. I just do what's best for me. Don't listen to my enemy. To separate the vocals, double click to select the audio, click on effects, go to open Vino AI effects, and select the music separation option. Here too, you can choose either CPU or GPU. There are two modes available for separation, one for separating the instrumental and vocals, and the other for separating drums, bass, vocals, and other elements. I'll only separate the instrumental and vocals. After selecting the mode, click Apply. 
Depending on the length of your audio, it may take 15 to 20 seconds, so be patient. Okay, it's done. Let's check it out. First, we'll mute the song track. It's not very clear on this small screen, so I'll maximize it to give you a better view. You'll see the instrumental on the top track and the vocals on the bottom track. Let's mute the instrumental and play the vocals. Yeah, I don't believe in destiny. I just do what's best for me. Don't listen to my enemy. You can hear how well it has separated the vocals. Now let's mute the vocals and listen to the instrumental. Not bad, it has separated the instrumental very well too. You can export them separately from here. I'll clean everything up and now let's move on to the last but not least option, AI Music Generation. Click on Generate, then open Vino Music Generation. Here too, you'll find two models for music generation. You can select either one. Below that, there's a prompt box where you can enter a prompt for the type of music you want to generate. I don't know much about music generation, so I'll leave the default prompt and just remove 80s. Below, you can choose either CPU or GPU. I'll stick with CPU. There are two options for context length, 5 seconds or 10 seconds. You can choose either. I'll select 10 seconds, then click Generate, and your music will start generating. Music generation may take some time, but don't worry, just wait, and your music will be ready. Our music is generated now, so let's play it. You can give better prompts than I did to generate better music for yourself, and the best part is that it's completely free. That's the end of this video. If you found it valuable, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next one.